Shut your mouth! You don't you're get an idiot! You don't get Shut up! Ass. I'm coming right now. I don't want to be recorded. There's a camera. Come here. But there's a reason that you're hiding. What, what are you guys filming? Just I don't want wait, my picture on. Wait, so you and Target knows this? Come See, I disagree with that premise. I are you filming? It's like a... I know I'm in trouble. But you don't want to have a discourse. You just want to film everyone. Also, you're not an attorney. You don't know the law. This is the sidewalk, sir. No, no, no. This is private property. <laughs> He doesn't want his picture to be taken. It's really the fault of the city. I think it's going to take a human speed bump at least once to get Good here. morning, everybody. We are back here for a revisit of this crazy, psychotic crosswalk that's been featured on the news. It's been featured on several uh, articles. It's also had some town council meetings about it. We are here again. What's up? Yeah, we have a reason. What? Okay. We do have a reason. Are you covering the target for a reason? I don't know. Right. Why is he wearing a mask? The pandemic's over. Is any of this your business whatsoever? Well, first of all, this is public property here. It's yeah, all exactly. Private. Public property. This is private property. No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Private property. We're on public. The sidewalk. Yeah, the sidewalk is public. This is public property. Are you an attorney? Are you an attorney? Are you? Huh? Are you no, but I know the law. I know GIS survey. Do not read one. This is public property. I don't really. Trust Sidewalks in the street is public property. This here is private property. This is public property. You can't. Up. You can't come on private property if they don't want you. Exactly. There's trespassing. There's trespassing. Oh, you're also, not an attorney. You don't know the law. So keep your mouth shut. You don't know the attorney. Sir, I don't you're trust, not an attorney. Keep I don't trust shit. anyone. As you. you were a master at a year ago. I don't Shut trust anyone. As I come on your feet. You hope I'm gonna call me. You guys want to know what the law is? I'll tell you what the law is. My brother works for an attorney, okay? There's a thing called federal rights in this country, okay? By you filming, don't no, no, listen out, listen out, because you don't know the law. You like You're 100% wrong. You, like you, you don't know the law, so keep your mouth shut. Shut your mouth! You don't You're an idiot! Shut up! You don't get shut to tell us. You don't get There's to tell the law, Jack. Uh-uh. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. There's I don't want to hear it from, from you. You're an idiot. I don't no trust way. people Cut like it. Cut it to it, cabron. I don't know. Your teeth just fell out, man. Welcome here, buddy. Say, hermano, el puñete la baño. Stop yelling before you spit on the floor, man. Let me tell you what the law is. You're an idiot. You're a moron. I don't want to hear it from you. You're a moron. I don't want to hear it from you. You're a moron. You're a moron. You don't know the law. Stop. You don't know the law. Talk to an attorney. Stop screaming like a maniac. You don't know the law. You're not an attorney either. You don't know the law. My brother works for an attorney. Oh, your brother, not you. He's got a law degree from Harvard. You don't even have a high school diploma. That's your brother. You're too stupid. You're a moron. Okay, bud. Blue your teeth in, bro. Don't take care of your teeth. Learn the law. Stop, Stop yelling. Learn the law before Dude. you open your mouth. Stop You're yelling before you mask. spit your teeth on the ground. four years ago, 10 feet apart. You're too stupid to take off the mask. Stop yelling You're before idiot. you spit your You're teeth on the ground. You're a moron. Glue your teeth in next time, bro. I'll tell you what. You want to take off the camera, go across the street and show me your best shot? Are you Give trying, me your best shot. Are you making a threat? They have glue no, for your... nothing, but the... you don't know the law. Man, they have, they have glue for your teeth. Keep them in next time. Do you know the yeah. law or not? I know every every you part of Tell me the law then. What's the law? Tell me. We're not telling you anything. It's protected by the First Amendment. There's federal constitutional rights people have. If you Which film I them have. and use them on camera that is not without their false. consent, false. it's a federal false. law. That's false. 100% false. false. You're wrong. Hey, Sir, you're going to you're gonna spit them on the floor, man. You're going to spit off. your teeth on the floor. This is public property. Exactly. Yes. If the sheriffs want you move. No, no they, they can't. Move. No, they you can't. You are wrong. No, they can't. Yeah, whatever you want. Go take a nap. Step across here. Go take a nap. We can. They no, have that's private property. They haven't asked us to leave. I haven't leave. been asked to leave, you jackass. We can stand here. I can go inside if I want. Why do you want to film people on camera without their consent? What's the reasoning? I don't need consent. That's the whole point of exercising your rights in this beautiful so country. So you can use it on, on, uh, on YouTube or something? I can use it wherever I want. I can use it wherever yeah, I want. You're 100% wrong. Absolutely not. Talk to an attorney. I have. Talk to a district I have. Because you don't know the law. And I certainly want to. I well, definitely wouldn't want to hire your brother in law. You have constitutional rights, okay? Yeah. And this is exercising them. Exactly. People have them. If you're, if you have invaded 
their constitutional there rights. There's no right to privacy. Hate to inform you. Bye. Go learn something, sir. You don't go know the law. Your, you guys don't brother. know the law. You're 100% wrong. Go ask talk to brother. an attorney then, okay? okay? you go and talk to your attorney. I already go have. My brother. brother's friend's an attorney. He oh, wow. So that me? makes you a law degree. Perfect. Okay. He's got a law degree from Harvard, the best law school. No one cares. You idiot. You don't. You didn't even go to high school. You're too stupid. Wow. He's projecting. Clearly, he's talking about himself. Bro, go home and take a shot. Go take care of yourself, man. You don't know the law. You guys are a hundred percent wrong. Absolutely not. not. Go, go away. Talk Even to he's telling you to go away. Sure. Go talk to your brother. If he's an attorney, go talk he's to him. He's not an attorney. His friend is. He's a CPA, okay? So his friend went to Harvard Law, his the best friend. law school in the country. So it's his you three friend. bozos barely graduated from high school. Fail. It's his brother's friend, not Fail. him or his go brother. Go walk out. Go play on the freeway. Fail. Go take a nap, bud. Bye-bye. Fail. Hey, it's the three stooges. Bye, bud. It's culinary mo, the three stooges. You might want to use that Ajax you on your teeth. You're fucking moron. Bye, buddy. You're an idiot. I love you. Love you, bud. Vamos to win. Bye bye. People are worried about what we do. You should be more worried about running around town with a bunch of psychotics loose. Why do we always get the people yelling at us with their teeth falling out of their mouth? You guys gotta chill, man. Use that glue and stop screaming. Just getting some video. What are you going to Target for? Why are you filming? Why are you, why are you walking up on me like that? Don't I'm touch me. Them. Where's your release that um, you have to sign? You don't need a release in public. Does Target Do you have one for me to sign? Why are you guys filming? We're, we're taking a video, that's why. For what? Why are you going to Target for? Why are you filming? And what are you going to Target for? I owe you an explanation. You, you shouldn't be building people just on the street. So we shouldn't exercise our beautiful rights in this beautiful country? Can you explain why we should? Does that mean you'd rather... I have a Korea? right, too, to know why you're filming. You, not. you don't have a right to know yes, what I we're do. doing. You don't have a right to know other people's business. Can you explain why we You don't have a right to know why I'm going into Target, either. Then why are you... Then why... You know, <laughs> exactly. We each don't owe each other an explanation. You have a and you guys day. are all masked up. You're we hiding behind you a mask. We do not owe you an explanation. No, but you're Why are you wearing a hat? Why are you wearing glasses? What do you got in the purse? Why are you showing me your toes? We can keep going. You want to just ask why are you wearing makeup? Mask? It's the same thing as a mask, right? Okay, can wow. you explain why we shouldn't be doing this? I'm just curious and you won't answer questions. Okay, but you said we shouldn't Curious is one thing, but you came up and you asked three questions before you even let him answer one. I did, one. because- Before you even let him answer one. Because usually in a public place, people are filming you going in and out of places. And you guys are just standing around filming hey, everyone, hey. filming everybody that's driving by. Had you asked respectfully, we would have had the conversation, but I'm not No, you wouldn't have. You, this is what you're doing. You're just wanting to tie up with people. I'm wanting what? You're what? You're not being respectful of people not, just walking freely. Ma'am, you came up and bothered us. We didn't bother you at all. Because you're filming everybody. Which we're allowed to do. Welcome to America. Yeah, I know. I, bore, I was born here. Like, okay. Yeah, I get it. Perfect. The freedoms of America. And I hope I get you enjoy it. the rights and freedoms that we have. I do. As we exercise Very much. them for you. Which is why I can come up to you and ask freely I didn't say you why couldn't. you're filming everybody. I didn't say you couldn't. So we don't owe you an answer when you do ask. You're absolutely allowed to and ask. And you're asking me why I'm walking shopping yeah. at Target. You are allowed to ask. Nobody's disputing that. But, but you're not answering. But we don't have to answer. That's the beautiful part. Right. I think it's but I'm allowed to ask. Yes, ask I didn't the say question. you weren't. Absolutely. And you're like, why are you wearing makeup? Exactly. Why I think it's fair game to ask questions. Why are you showing your toes? You're also allowed to ask a question. I think, I think that's you fair are. game. But you don't want to have a discourse. You just want to film everyone. Nobody owes anybody an explanation. They don't, but so I have a right to ask, just like you have a right day. to film me. Have a beautiful day. Go on about your day. You too, but this is, there is a reason for this that you're hiding behind. We're not and hiding that's there. why you're not telling me. Had you anything. asked respectfully, we would have told you. Okay, I'm going to ask you respectfully. Why are you filming everybody that, going see, to was correct for that place window, man. You walked up being that, disrespectful. That, that's oh, the problem. You walked up being disrespectful. Yeah. You can't say. I was already say, far Ma'am, now it's just coming from, from a condescending place. Why? Because of how you came up disrespectfully. No. When you have a discourse and you're trying to resolve No, we're not having a discourse. You created a discourse. I did. Okay. Because you're filming. You don't me. owe anything of it. No, you don't owe me, but you're wanting to capture everybody. Absolutely, which we're allowed to do without explanation. We are allowed to do it without explanation. Welcome to the Bill of Rights. 
Yeah, I know the Bill of Rights. Okay. So, exactly. so what? What are you trying to get out of With the Bill of Rights. Why are you filming everybody going into Target and driving by? That's all I want to know. Again, you're... A simple question. But again, you won't... You're, not, you're refusing... No, no. It wasn't answer. simple because you asked that question... And because you, you deem me disrespectful, who's, who's you're this? not going to answer. Because you came up... You because asked, I'm still talking to you, trying you to find an answer. three questions And you're still you refusing an answer to out. answer. So my point stand. You weren't going to tell me in the first place. We've Absolutely. Well, we've told I everybody who's asked us. I just stated the obvious and you got upset. We have told everybody who's asked us. And nobody's upset. And I'm just telling you. We don't then why won't you answer. tell me? Because you don't like the way I ask? Absolutely. Okay. But that's still... When you ask a question... But you're still filming me this whole mm -hmm. conversation. Yes. And, but I'm not allowed to ask you why. You're allowed so to ask. So that's violating You are allowed me. to ask. You because you're going to publicize ask, this all over. Absolutely. Absolutely. We never said you couldn't ask, we just said we're not going to answer that question. Yeah, you did, but exactly, I can still yes. ask. I didn't exactly. say you could. That's not a decision. But answer. asking no, more isn't going to make us answer. I can see that, because you're right in your faces. You have a big mask and Nobody glasses. Told you you have you a big asked. mask, uh -huh. and you have a big fake beard mask. Okay, so Mine is real. Can film My you. beard is so real. So somebody with alopecia is not allowed to wear a fake beard? No, so if I'm like filming you. You can film us. I don't have a problem with that. Because you're not going to be like identified because you're all wearing. Do we masks. have to identify ourselves in this country? That's not my, my point. That is my your point. My point is that you're hiding behind a mask. You can't no even one's honestly hiding. film people. What if I have a medical issue? Is that any of your business that I, have, that I want a that, beard but I can't grow one? That Halloween beard is not. Uh, so you get to choose what condition. somebody with a disability chooses to wear as a mask. Well, you're judging me by filming me and filming everybody. I'm not else. judging you. No, I didn't say anything about you. you. We never judged anything about you. You're judging by filming. There's a reason. Judging by filming. Wait, hiding. can you can you explain that? What is judging you're by hiding. filming? Man, you're making less and less because sense as you continue talking. But Nobody's hiding. You how can... how is that judging? How is hiding judging? Because there there's a purpose for you filming that you're yes, hiding. Yes, but you don't have so to you're know hiding right now. Your, I'm your face. I'm confused. You're not. Making yeah, I'm a lot confused of sense. too because you're not even telling why. You're you just don't have filming. to tell you Man, why. You're just not making a lot I of sense. I know you're not. And you're gaslighting me because you're saying you're not making a lot of hey, sense, but I'm, I'm stating you're wearing, you know a beard, you're wearing a mask, you're wearing a fake beard, and you're filming everybody. Okay, ma'am, I'm trying to gaslight you. So, you know, you're go crazy. write a letter to the ADA and let and them know so that anybody with skin people different. people have gone in that you haven't been able to film because you've been right. focused on me. Doesn't matter. You're the one that started engaging us. I don't know something crazy. I did engage. The second you walk away, we're filming everyone again. So it I know that. Matter. But there's a reason that you're hiding, and that's nope. my issue. That's in the free country, is you're hiding. You know everything. You're just mad that you don't know everything right now. Just sign their face of the watermelon. I'm, I'm upset because you're filming people. Man, Back you, in the day, you could ask people when, why they were filming. What do you mean? You can ask now. Everybody has them. We've given them an answer. But you're not. Because you came up and rattled out three I don't questions believe without I don't respecting think, him enough to let him answer one question. I don't think you're being honest. I don't think that you were telling people respectfully. I you. absolutely am. And it's on you're video. Just, you're being dishonest. And when this, gets, my no, and when this gets published tomorrow, they're going to see everybody else get answers except for you. Yeah, just because you have There's nothing dishonest about that. Happen. just means you're a bad person on how you approached it. So now Next you're going to judge approach. me as a bad person. Absolutely. You came judgmental, clowning on him for beards. How do you know he doesn't have a skin issue that requires him to wear that because he fell out of a moving vehicle? No, you guys are hiding. How do you not know that? How are you going to make that judgment that he does not? How are you going to judge me for being a bad person? Nobody's you judging judgment. you, man. You just said I was a Based bad on your judgments that you've already put out there. No, you're just talking in circles now. No, you've been talking in circles. I've no, been telling I've you to go away. I've been trying to find out why you're talking. Man, you don't get to know. We've been telling you. You don't get to know. It's not going to happen. You do not get we've to know We've been telling today. you that. I you are talking in circles. Continue. We're telling you it's no. not going to happen. No, you are the one circulating the conversation. No. Yes. Ma'am, you can literally just why. walk away and you wouldn't be famous on TikTok tomorrow, but now you're going to be super famous because you keep arguing with us. Just go away. TikTok. Good. It perfect. T TikTok and social media, it doesn't matter. Perfect. To me. Then have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. Now, why are you worried about us filming? Because it's just not right to film. It's not right to yeah. question yeah. people in public. So, that let's are get back to that. Uh, this is your second, third time saying that. Can you explain that? I'm asking again. Can you explain why it's not right? Because you're being dishonest. Who's been to the, I haven't been dishonest with anybody. I'm just not telling you because you've been disrespectful. Yeah, you said that many times. Okay, there's nothing dishonest about not telling you. No, You're just assuming dishonesty because you refuse to have the conversation in the right spot. You. I'm just asking why. Doesn't matter. It's not right.
Right. You've disparaged right. somebody who has disabilities why they're wearing a big beard. Then what disability do you have? I don't really, have to now disclose that. Are you going to people on their disability? You um, have to approve the disability that he might have? gaslighting to... Man, no, definitely. you're a jackass you know gaslighting right is? And now you're calling me another... Absolutely. Man, because you crazy. just asked somebody that. with a disability what his disability is. He never said that. That's crazy. That's, That's what, what gaslighting is, man. That's what gaslighting is. You said is. it three times that he has a disability. See, no, I just explained to you what gaslighting is, and you, now you understand? You don't get to ask no. people what their disability is. They don't owe you an answer to that. Are you kidding me? What makes you feel entitled to know his disability? What makes you feel entitled to know his disability? You absolutely you did. You shouldn't have even asked everybody. that question. That is disrespectful. No, you're disrespectful. Okay. Because you're filming everybody. All right. You just go about your day, man. Go about your day, man. I am going to go about my you're day. Gonna, you're going right. to you're going to be just fine. Have a beautiful day. Have the day yeah. you deserve. You too. What's your disability? Are you kidding me? It's dying to take country. Huh? Bro, explain. Probably again the four two I tried to ask her multiple times. Explain your points. She could not explain a single one of her points. That's crazy to me. What's your disability? What the hell? Yeah, no. She also, you're judging by filming. Does that make sense? How how are you judging someone by filming? So what some people don't know little man here actually did fall out of a moving vehicle does have disabilities that are going to affect him for the rest of his life and what if we are also wearing masks so that he feels more comfortable when he has to or decides that he wants to wear a mask to cover up a disability so you know there's a thousand layers and a thousand reasons why we are allowed to wear masks or fake beards or whatever we want to wear even if it's just to make a person that's with us feel more comfortable so everyone needs to get the hell over it. And how dare somebody, what's your disability? I know, right? Dude, that <laughs> like, was out. Yeah, I was taking it like, Who does that? <laughs> like, bro, the next person I see in a wheelchair, should I walk up and be like, what's your disability? Do you, do you belong in that wheelchair? Why are you in the wheelchair? Why are you hiding your butt? It's different if it comes up in conversation, but you don't just, what's your disability? Tell yeah. me now. Like, what the hell? The entitlement. Yeah, okay. Like... Why are you hiding your back? Why are you hiding your butt? Why are you in a wheelchair? Like, you don't, those are, no, uh-uh. Guys, to let you know where I'm standing, over here in the corner, with the wall right here. Not on the sidewalk. Not in the way of the crosswalk. Not in the way of this sidewalk. So, out of everybody's way. And as you can see them, they're on the back of the sidewalk over there. She's walked into a store with a hundred cameras. I guess, I guess part of your filming is obnoxious. That's what she said. I don't understand the freedom, huh? <laughs> Apparently not. Bro, you almost got hit. What's this? She's getting some video. What's this? It's a camera. For what? For taking video. For what? Just getting some video of everybody coming in the Target today. Money. Picture in there. You're in public, sir. Pardon me? You're in public, so you don't have the choice. Pardon me? You don't have a choice. In no, it's not. It is. This is the sidewalk, sir. No, no, no. This is private property. This is owned by a target. This is a, this is a sidewalk, taken. sir. I don't want my picture to. You, you're in public, sir. I came in public and you walked in front of camera. No, no, no. You walked straight up to my camera to tell me you don't want to be on camera, sir? Exactly. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it does. I don't want wait, my picture on. Wait, so you you're on in, you're, camera. You're on, you're on, this is a private property. This is, go ahead and go ahead and tell them that. You're, you're on private property, and even if we were, we haven't been asked to leave. Like, I, I can stand right here. I can go in there. Um, All right, guys, look at that. Uh oh. Go record. I don't want to be recorded. I'm not recording. I'm taking video. Man, when you're, when you're in public, you don't have that choice. Why are you being so rude? There's no need to call us names. You don't have to name call it. Stop being rude. Go home, take a nap. That's not a really good way to look on TikTok. It's very unladylike. I appreciate it.
Do you ride? No. Not yet? Not Someday? Yet. Okay, not yet. Not yet. We'll go with that one, right? <laughs> he was offering us some chips. That was really nice of him. This car is being overly perfect. Oh, or not. What are you guys doing today? What's up? What are you doing? Just taking some video. For what purpose? For every purpose. Oh, well, that's not possible. Oh, well, yeah, it is. <laughs> no, we're just out here taking video, reminding people you're always Hold on. on if you rolled up filming us, asking why we're filming people. I'm, well, oh, yeah, the car film. <laughs> you right? Yeah, but you have access to that footage if you want it. The exercise of our rights. Okay. Filming a car that's filming us. What's the end game? Take video. To capture video. What's the end game? Filming a car that's filming us and asking questions. How you doing? Good. What are we doing? Are we interviewing He's people? Or? Just yeah. What's your purpose? No, no, I'm, I'm going to share it with him. He, he, he just finished asking the question right now. So, oh no, he can answer them. Uh, that, we try not to talk to people in the cars because they're blocking traffic. It's kind of dangerous. But um, through the peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights, we are reminding people you're always being filmed in public and that if you want to demand privacy, you have to self-create it. But why we're at this specific location is the dangerous crosswalk, which today on video, we've gotten four people almost getting hit by cars. Oh, well, almost got another one. Right, right there. Almost got another. So this is why we're here today. This is our third time here, and we're gonna keep coming back until they put a speed bump for people's safety and protection. There's cars on video today just flying through here. Has anybody been hitting this intersection before? Surprisingly, I, I think one, there's an article about, uh, there's one, um, there's been two city council meetings regarding this and their fix was to put up these lights that nobody uses because they they don't pay attention to them. And they're not even bright enough for the cars to see. So if you go sit in your car, I'll push the light for you. You can't even see the damn lights. So we're doing first amendment awareness. Yep. And speed bump awareness. Exactly. That we're auditing the crosswalk today. <laughs> I think it's going to take a human speed bump at least once to get That's it. what I was saying, but you know what? The good thing is, whoever that first human speed bump is, is going to get a settlement in the tens of millions of dollars because Target has been aware of the situation for five years and has chosen not to act on it. There's been news stories. There's been social media outrage. There's been council meetings, three council meetings now. There's videos about the crosswalk online. There's our videos now about the crosswalk. So what you're so, telling me is I should just cross back and forth. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then I can retire. Or do a controlled hit. Don't tell me about it, though. But have a friend. Just a tuck and roll? Just give you a tuck and roll and just knock you down and do a few rolls. Claim soft tissue injuries for the rest of your life. I know that I, I intentionally crossed the street twice. Yeah. In front of cars. But used the yes. light. And... They did what they were supposed to do. This time. But I've watched a few people use the light and the car still barrels through. So you're lucky. But if you want a tens of millions of dollars payday, and a, you know, go ahead and get hit by one. Yeah. Hey, you guys know my uncle went to Harvard? Really? Yeah. That's cool. No. Oh, yeah, right? Well, it was funny that he was using his uncle's law degree to tell us he knows the law. It's it, kind of funny. It was his brother's friend's law. Yeah, that's like saying my friend's a doctor so I, I can do surgery tomorrow. No, my brother's friend's a doctor. You know the gentleman I, that... I just think it, it would be wise for people not to do what that lady just yep. did. Especially we see people carrying their kids and then just barreling out there. I'm just like, bro, really? Like, that's a lot of bad parenting, you know, even teaching your kids to at least get use the safety precautions that are available but yeah that gentleman that talked to you down there at the bottom of the street he was unhinged <laughs> i was like damn <laughs> he was literally saying his brother's friend is an attorney who went to harvard and that's yeah. how he knows the law yeah it's like saying your brother's friend is a doctor and you asked him about surgery so you can perform a surgery yeah it's it's ridiculous the people that don't make sense never make sense you're not an attorney Your brother's friend is the attorney, not you. Hey!
the throw in. Thank you. Come on, man. Pay attention. I was. I got that one. I got that one. He had to slam on his brakes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tragedy tonight in Pomona where a community is coming together to remember a six-year-old girl killed while crossing the street. The child died at the scene. Her older sister was critically injured. Friends, family, family members, and strangers are gathering to support the girl's mother who witnessed the horrific crash. John Finolio has more on the story from Pomona. Good evening, everybody. This is truly a tragedy. You can see a small makeshift memorial has been set up by the side of the road here. Neighbors tell us the girls were walking just ahead of their mother when they were struck by a car in the intersection. Their mom watched it happen. We're told she is inconsolable as she mourns the loss of one child while the other clings to life. Sweet, happy, and full of love is how family and friends are remembering six-year-old Guadalupe Alvarez Salgado. She was a really sweet, wonderful, wonderful little girl. Most knew her as Lupita, a child taken too soon following a horrific crash Tuesday night in Pomona. <laughs> Neighbors say Lupita and her 19-year-old sister, Maria Alvarez, were walking home from the store with their mother around 8 p.m. The girls were in the crosswalk ahead of their mom at the intersection of town and Lexington Avenues. Police say that's when the driver of a light-colored Honda Accord, a 19-year-old from Upland, slammed into the sisters. Responding officers found the pair lying in the intersection with severe injuries. Maria was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Lupita did not survive. Ernesto Ramirez lives on the corner. He was in the yard with his children and witnessed the crash, which he described as gut-wrenching. His wife called 911. We haven't contacted the mom. We're giving her time. Um, she's probably with her daughter right now in the hospital. There are no words. I can say it's just very tragic. The driver did remain at the scene, and police say no arrests have been made. We're told Lupita had just finished kindergarten. The family says they are in the process of putting together a GoFundMe. Once we have that link, we'll post it under this story on our website, ktla.com. In Pomona, I'm John Finolio. Back to you. He's recruiting, he's recruiting someone. So from visibility time one, two, three, four, and he's in the crosswalk. So four seconds of visibility time. This guy's coming flying through. See? That's why we're here. totally piqued my curiosity now. So we're actually here because of what he just did. Because oh, last time I was here, <laughs> he literally was You guys had the, yeah. had the, the mask on and this lady was fighting with you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so and then this, I thought, I was thinking that you guys were like, no, I've no. seen the waters or like doing what some... just happened to you is why we're here this crosswalk has been in the news people oh, have blow really? through it it's there's been council meetings about it oh yeah look like yeah, it's not even that you were three feet street. you were three feet right now on video from getting hit by that car who just yeah. blew through and part of the problem is these big ass planters so that car if the driver is sitting as high as a planter and he can't see you coming in he blows through the crosswalk and hits somebody got it if you were three seconds faster he would have nailed you you yeah. know what i mean yeah yeah totally. and they don't yeah. even slow down to pretend that there's a crosswalk here and yeah, that's they part don't, of the issue. yeah they don't slow down to pretend there's a crosswalk here yeah and, and then, i guess i should have pushed the button well but the button so, is so far away from yes the it is and that's part of the problem we pointed I mean? out. it's like way over there it's yeah. like we're all in a hurry right we've pointed that out um yeah, yeah, totally. and then also pushing the button doesn't matter we get on video people blind through here whether or not people push the button really you know yeah. and don't even attempt to slow down oh my god now i want to test it i just want to walk back and forth right <laughs> <laughs> hey that worked for our story awesome. well, that's so cool so you guys are like doing investigative reporting we do a trying, little bit of everything yeah absolutely. trying to like so make, we, make change yep. for the better and we Got also it. do what's called Got first it. amendment auditing and we just you know all right. um, exercise the right in public spaces and make sure that those all right so are, to exercise know, right so how do you feel about yeah she just cut right in front of the how conversation how do you feel about um uh, the city of Los Angeles uh, um, policy on sidewalk vendors. 
Ooh, so that's a tricky one. It so is a tricky one. I was raised in the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. I think sidewalk vending is one of the best food options that you can have. Yeah, it's totally cool that way, right? Um, I think there should be more easier options so that people can do it the right way because you get a lot of vendors shut down all the time or they get their stuff impounded, they get the stuff taken away. But but I don't see that at all happening. I, in fact, well, there was a moratorium and they haven't shut down vendors. Yeah. So and they, and there's been no times. regulation, right? I've seen it a few times. It's mostly in the evenings or the night yeah. times. Oh, you um, have? Yeah, so really? taco I've stands at night and things like that. In my neighborhood. Now, everybody has an opinion. Mm -hmm. I think that the, a city as big as Los Angeles should be able to be like, you know what? Let's let's dedicate this road of commercial space. They should space be able to do to it like in, uh, in all places. Here's my gripe yeah. about it. I live in Echo Park, okay. and we there's a lake. Have you been to the lake there? Yes. I okay. Have. So yeah. now the vendors are setting up all along a sidewalk, mm -hmm. and it'd be great if it was like two or three. Yeah. yeah. Now it's like. 15, yep. 17. It, and they're what's forcing them to set up in groups though now. Yeah, and so th so now they've got the sidewalk, they're encroached over the sidewalk, so mm -hmm. you have to walk through, so it's yep. a safety issue. But number two is the, the litter yep, that absolutely. they produce. They don't bring their own trash cans, mm -hmm. and um, that the, the littering is a whole other yep. issue. Um, and they're, it's it's sort of inundating the park yeah. and so it changes your whole park experience too. and it changes the perspective on the vending altogether too so there's different ways to look at it so if the city is attacking individual vendors and forces them to kind of huddle together that's the result yeah. is you set up 15 of them and you're like okay well they're not going to come see i disagree with that premise i think the result is is that one guy's like oh you know what? i'm going to set up there too mm -hmm. and then that begets that's begets, a possibility you know. but have you ever driven down western no, I haven't. Oh my God. If you go from Western, from the freeway, mm -hmm. all up to Fountain, it is insane. Well, and the worst part there is... Are, there are hundreds of sidewalk vendors. Yep. You can't even see the sidewalk. The litter is enormous. It's bad. Um, it now, looks they, like a third world country. If they created a permit process that wasn't an impossible hurdle, and they... Should held standards along, right? yeah. well if they held standards to each vendors and then violate those vendors that are you know not obeying their permits yeah the policies all over the place yeah. right and so, right. so it's really the fault of the city it is it comes down to that i mean yeah. you, you have to create options you can't say oh no don't do this and expect everybody to abide by no don't do this no it's just like the border crisis it should I mean, be it should be as easy as like download a vendor app mm -hmm. and then you you click on here and you go okay Pay your fee, We're, buy yeah, agree pay to your the fee, rules. buy your, you know, you think for a week have your or a stand day. to get inspected. Yeah, and then you go here and you go, where's the map? Yep. And then the city is and have outlined. designated areas yeah, and that they allow one, everywhere. two, or three vendors. Dude, you let's know. make the yeah, app. Let's run this to the city council. There you go. Let's take, you know, <laughs> ten cents off of each permit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Well, good luck with what you're doing. <laughs> Thank That's you so great. Much. Yeah, yeah, we need more more of you guys. Absolutely. How you doing? What's going on? You guys taking some video? Just taking some video? Of? Uh, everything, everything that happens today. Just exercising our rights to record in public and public spaces. Okay. What about people's right to privacy? So there is no right to privacy. If you want privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. Bye. Wearing a mask, growing a beard, wearing makeup, something. You just gotta create your privacy yourself because no one else can do it for you. Oh man, you look good in some lipstick and some rouge. <laughs> I'm already wearing it and you don't even notice it. <laughs> Damn. It's natural. <laughs> okay. Nice day. You too. Thank you for asking though. You've been really respectful. Also, we had counted from his coming out of the wall where they would be able to see him coming this direction as four seconds from when he came out and hit the crosswalk. So you gotta imagine somebody who's traveling at a you know 30 mile an hour speed, they're gonna close the distance of um, like right here to right here in about three to four seconds. So very dangerous. And as he pointed out, it's because this is so far away from the actual crosswalk crossing. Nobody wants to push it. Everyone's in a hurry. Just like I said, we're, we all, we've all done it. You know, I'm not innocent in it, but when you have kids and stuff, you should definitely be more mindful. Again, 
This car came screaming up, slammed on the brakes. She didn't see, didn't see them crossing. She didn't push the lights or anything. So um, nobody knew to stop. question is, what did he pull up for? We saw him earlier. Oh, they came back in. Are they really? Yeah, <laughs> They came back in us with the came back car? So the, the nine cameras the Cybertruck already has, is it nine on that one? I don't remember. But anyways, the, the group of cameras that that truck already had wasn't enough. So she had to get a phone camera out too. Oh, I like the coffin tattoo. How are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> How you doing, Steve? <laughs> Pardon me, the Cybertruck only has eight cameras. No button pushing going on here. Now, mind you, there's no cars. It was a safe bet for her to cross. Um, you know, I still would have pushed the button just to make sure and, you know, protect myself, but it is what it is, right? Don't, don't film me. We are. Everybody gets filmed today. Who are you? Who are you? Do the police know you're here? I doubt it. They might. They might not. Do you think it's illegal to film in public on a public sidewalk? Uh, what are you filming for? I don't owe you an answer to that. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too in June or July. <laughs> you're the one in the beard. Merry Halloween. Yeah, Merry Halloween. <laughs> you gotta love when. People say, oh, my brother's a lawyer, so I know everything. The fuck? How does that translate? Uh, Party people coming in? Yeah. Just getting video everyone coming in today. Yeah, but it's not Why are you recording me? Just getting video of everyone uh, using the crosswalk. No one's pressing the button. A lot of people get hit at this crosswalk right here. Very dangerous. You have a nice day. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
So guys, as I'm filming this guy I almost get obliterated by a car, there's a woman that walked, I mean, we were three feet apart and she just walked right in between us when she had four or five feet behind him to go around. There's a couple feet behind me. She just wanted to be a tool, you know, um, we're not gonna finish that word. Damn, you just blew through there fast as Damn. That's insane. All right. I almost forgot what I was going to say, but that lady walked right between us and, you know, rude as hell, by the way. Uh, and then, you know, come on. Also, we were out here with three cameras. So you got to imagine how these people drive through this when there's no cameras. We've already caught a few just blowing through here on camera. You know, some of these people are slowing down only because there's a camera right now. He's like, I'm not walking across the street. He just takes the loading zone. One, two, three. Now she walked right by the button and didn't bother pushing it. But again, there's no cars in sight right now, but it's still something you should get used to, especially if you have kids and you want to teach them uh, road and traffic safety. It's very important. Pushing the walkway button. That guy's not even paying attention, he's on his own. Not giving a shit that people are in the crosswalk. They weren't as close as the first one. But. One, two, three. Would have hit him. Now he could have slammed on the brakes or the pedestrian could jump out of the way, but imagine the perfect scenario where the pedestrian's looking down at his phone, looking down at something, distracted by his kid, and the driver is distracted by a cell phone, looking for a map, how to get to the parking, um, all kinds of issues. And their perfect storm will happen, and it will happen here. And later there's gonna be lawsuits and you know people saying that we've been failing everybody but nobody's gonna really truly care until it's too late and then you got this gentleman came perfectly he slowed down came almost all the way to a complete stop that guy ain't stopping in an emergency at least he wasn't barreling through here Let's see how the USPS does. Blows through it. Come on. Oh, and he's parking too. He could have slowed down. You know what I noticed? They don't have license plates anymore. That's going fast. <laughs> Blew through it. 
<laughs> she didn't push the walk button either. She had to stop. She was walking and had to stop. And there goes the guy. He flew through the first time too. Look at that, he's playing, he's doing NASCAR, woo! So I pushed the lights guys as a test to see if anyone would run through it. Nobody cares about the lights. You can hardly see them anyways. I'm about to get a cam back, I think. about to blow through this. <laughs> That's fitting. Damn, he was flying. You're a fucking idiot, dude. I had to move out and slow her down a little bit. She's crossing with her kid and still didn't push the button. Bad parenting there, guys. Bad parenting. Got to be more careful than that, especially teaching your kids. And at the rate people come flying through here, disregarding, it's just a matter of time, guys. I promise you this will be on the news someday. Car severely, critically injures or kills somebody at this crosswalk. Push a button. It's also ridiculous not to use the safety features of the crosswalk, ma'am. So that gentleman was arguing with us for no reason. He's, this is public property. You can't go over here. I'm not over there. I'm over here on public property. 
He was saying, you're not an attorney, you can't be over here. Um, I'm not. And flying through there. Damn, just run her over, why don't you? Jesus. The people running through the crosswalk, almost hitting people. It's been four times today. Okay, <laughs> you have a good day. It was funny because I was just filming her walking and the car just, <laughs> like, bro, this car. They need to put some speed bumps here. Something drastic so that it'll completely tear apart the bottom of your car when you fly through like this. You have a good day, sir. You do. Oh, thank you. Yours too. <laughs> so here's, I guess, the only good thing. If somebody gets really hurt here, if they get killed, their family will essentially own the city and Target. Because there's been news stories. It's a known issue. There's been our videos. There's been council meetings everything about this singular crosswalk and the issues we have without, you know, with people going through it. This person did a good job. Um, so if somebody does get hit and they're able to prove that Target knew about it, it's gonna be tens of millions of dollars in a settlement, not even an award. A jury award might range in the hundreds of millions because they're so aware of it for now going on five years of this issue that they can't deny that oh we didn't know about it white car. It's about to blow through here. When do you guys do? 
Soon, hopefully. Uh, halfway, there. <laughs> halfway there. Oh, no. You know, the whole you can't bring a shopping cart out of the store is a little frustrating, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So because the sidewalks right here and the parking lots across the street, which is a city street, city sidewalk. Um, so for that very reason, you cannot, the city will not allow them to pull a shopping cart out of the doors. So that got blocked. So if you go in there and you buy a bunch of stuff and you come out and realize like, oh crap, I got to figure out how to carry all this crap to the car. You have to do like they did, leave the shopping cart inside, shopping cart inside, go get your car fetch it and bring it over here to the loading area and then load the car kind of a pain in the butt back here on the wall guys um the cinematic feature on the phone automatically puts it over here so when people walk by it looks like i'm like all up in their jit not the case um i'm still standing here against the wall it just appears so when he does the shorts everyone's like why are you all up in their face we're not it just appears on camera that way uh-oh, got to get them diapers. <laughs> they cost so much money now. When you are sent to the store as a man, and the only thing you grab is a giant case of diapers, it's because you guys ran out of diapers and your wife's at home, where the hell are you? So you guys will see in the last clip of the two ladies walking out right here, um, the one on the right was half a foot into the crosswalk already when the car actually drove around. So the car left right here and moved over here to drive around her, to dodge her, to then get through. Crazy that we still show these every day and somebody here at the Target hasn't been like, you know what, we gotta put a speed bump here. Somebody's gonna get hurt or killed. Nobody push the light. They don't even try. <laughs> Is that Benjamin Franklin on your shirt? Sure is. I absolutely love that. I love your hair, by the way. Thank you. The beautiful color, especially in the sun. Are you filming? I'm recording. I love how this car actually stopped before she went. That's cool. That's how you should do it. And of course that car just blew through and he's in the crosswalk. Now while that lady did not push the light like she should have, she did wait and make sure that these people are completely all stopped and we're staying stopped. I'm not famous, dude. Yeah, you are. Everyone's famous. What do you say? Just give us the peace sign. That was really cool. And barrel through, barrel through, barrel through. Nope, he slid down a little bit.
<laughs> we just doing a uh, exercising in a peaceful manner of our rights and also doing a story on this crazy ass crosswalk where people keep almost getting hit. <laughs> it's hot. You okay? It's actually pretty comfortable. I got a new one. This one's better. <laughs> oh okay. shit! She almost walked into the car. Sheesh. That would have been her fault, but yeah. You have a nice day. You have a great day, buddy. What are you guys doing? Okay, get some video. Capturing all the beautiful faces coming through today. How you done? Pay attention to the road! Drive! You're blocking cars. You're blocking traffic! Pay attention! Get off the phone and drive! Idiot! If you want to cam back me, come cam back me, but don't block the traffic to do it. People need to just stop, bro. Like, if you're going to cam back, Pull over, cam back us. We don't mind. Take a picture, take a video. I'll even pose with you. Um, give you that beautiful smile. Um, but yeah, don't do, don't drive not looking forward while you go into a pedestrian crosswalk while having traffic behind you that you are stopping because you want to get a cam back to post on your next door app or Facebook group or whatever to talk all that mad shit about us and how horrible we are for filming in public while you are committing multiple infractions. Impeding traffic. Driving while on a cell phone in California and going through a crosswalk while on a cell phone. So they actually pushed the button. They went all the way out of the way and pushed the button. That was really cool. Smart thing to do, especially when you're teaching your kids. Hopefully these cars pay attention. All right, looks like they did. She's coming into the crosswalk with a small child. Thankfully, he came to a stop. Look at that. That was very polite of him. Work there. Appreciate it. What's your favorite piece? Uh, probably my uncle right here. Oh shit, that's badass. All right, nice. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Ooh, I like that truck. Sheesh. Edison truck. Bro, his beard is. Is that a real one or a fake one? Nice beard there. Looks a little better than mine does. <laughs> Getting video of everybody coming out today. Just out here reminding you that you're always being recorded in public and that if you want and demand privacy, you gotta create it yourself.
and that if you want and demand privacy while in public, you have to create it yourself. Have a nice day. Oh, <laughs> so um, we don't normally film people with kids, but I'll, I'll tell you. So what we're doing is an exercise, just a peaceful exercise of our rights, First Amendment rights, and then reminding people that you're always being filmed in public, and if you want and demand privacy, you have to self-create it. But we're also today doing a story on the crosswalk. Even today, we got four times where I've filmed people halfway through the crosswalk, car comes blowing through and almost hits them. I'll go ahead and grab that for you. Thank you. Um, so it's, it's just a dangerous setup that they have here. Okay. And, you know, we we definitely think that they need, need to do some speed bumps right here because people come flying through and almost hit people four times today on camera. And one was really close. While we're talking to somebody right here on camera and it was just in the background, I was like, Jesus Christ. And some lady has, or he had to slam on his brakes and it was just bad. But um, this crosswalk's been on council meetings, it's been in the news, it's been on social media. And so we're here today specifically for this. But you guys have a beautiful day. Thank yep. Too. How you doing? <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hello. Good to see you again. You guys have a beautiful day. <laughs> thank, thank you for that. Have a great day. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you go. I want to know what the hop secret is. Oh, it's uh, beer. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, Shit. Damn. That's exactly why we're here because those jackasses. <laughs> Bro, he almost got hit. I'm coming right now. What happened? I'm coming for a video, bro. We're here? Yeah, like put some music so we can shout. <laughs> So he pushed the button, the lights are on, the guy still rolled through it. He's on the phone. Damn! That's literally why we're here filming, because of how dangerous this crosswalk is. We're doing a story on it. Oh, it's that's, really dangerous. It is. I was like, that's like the fifth time today someone almost got hit. Oh yeah, recognize the, the tattoos. Yeah, the tattoos look good. <laughs> yeah, you guys doing right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. how about you? Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Only two psychotics today. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> you have a good one. It's all right, you just run around flipping people off, that's rude. They didn't flip us off? Yeah. I'm sure your mothers are very proud of you. They yeah, absolutely are. I don't care absolutely. what my mother thinks so. though. Well, you yeah. might want to sit on that finger later. Just your push ups It'll help you out with your prostate. I, I do in fact have one of those. Is he going to drive up here? Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Nate, go down there. <laughs> the old man's complaining to him. The old man was talking to him. How you doing? <laughs> What's happening around the world? How you doing? How you doing? Peace for peace and happiness for everyone. Nice, nice. And safety for all. What you guys doing? Just getting some video of everybody yeah, coming yeah, into Target this, today. This he was complaining that he doesn't want his picture to be taken. Mm. <laughs>
Well, he's in public, so he doesn't have the choice, unfortunately. Yeah, I, yeah. I told him, you know. Yeah. In country. Are you Have a nice day. Stop. Slow down a little bit. So is this some like weird social experiment or what's that? Is this some like social experiment or something? Um so right now the reason we're here today is because of this crosswalk right here. It's very unsafe. There's been a lot of near misses. Even just today we've like seen almost five people get hit. Yeah, people get And there's been and yeah, and there's been uh uh, city meetings about it. They've known about it for years and they still haven't done anything about it. So We're just out here kind of trying to remind people as you see almost no one decides to use these lights that they installed to try and you know further the safety So we think it's time they add speed bumps or something like that Yeah, yeah this 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 road gets kind of gnarly Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some people go blow through here at 30 40 miles an hour oh, almost. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I'm I, yeah. I, this is like, I'm here, like, I work in the city, so, like, I drive by this all the time. Mm -hmm. It gets gnarly. Yep, oh. You see, and he's honking just because just they decided to stop <laughs> for people crossing the street. <laughs> so. Yeah, they definitely need to add either a stop sign or some speed bumps. Yeah. That'll get people to slow down. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it would help for sure. Mm hmm. One time of their bumpers getting ripped off their car, they, <laughs> they, yeah. they're not going to fly through here anymore. Especially, too, like, when, when school's in session, all the kids walk up, and they're, like, hanging out, like, in that area, and they all mm -hmm. walk through their car and stuff. And yeah. Like, cars fly through, and there's a bunch of, like, you know, high school kids that just sort of, like, minding their business walking through here, so. Oh, yeah, no, this is definitely, and these little planters right here, they definitely don't help. If anything, they block the view, mm -hmm. so. There's definitely a few things that could be done to make this sidewalk or this crosswalk a lot safer. Yeah, I missed you so much. I haven't seen you all summer, bro. Okay. But thank you for asking and taking the time to uh, speak with me about it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, like, I'm on my break right now, so like, I, I got like another five minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're good, good, good. Ooh, shit. Look at the ramp on that thing. All right, let's see. Is he going to stop? All right, there you go. Will you get honked at for stopping? That's the real question. <laughs> not this time, not this time. You can go through. What's going on here? She's taking some video. Well, are we being videoed? Everybody in, in public. And Target knows this? Uh, I don't know if they know or not.
It's not my fault you brought your child in public and then decided to confront us. So I only started my filming, and so did Simple, right when she asked, are you filming? Obama. <laughs> How you doing? What's up? Justin Bieber. Oh, Bieber, nice. <laughs> The kids are super famous in there. over this time. All right? Let's hope not, ma'am. I got to see that smile next week. That's the lady who went in and almost got hit. How you doing, buddy? Very good. What are you guys filming? Everything. Everything that happened today. I'm just curious why. Exercising our rights to record in public and public spaces. Just a reminder you're always on camera and if you don't want to be got to take privacy like we are. I just don't want to be on camera. Oh, no, thank you. I don't want to be here. You're in public, ma'am. What did she say? All right, guys, due to the sunlight, we have moved over to the other side of the sidewalk um, behind the balls. Uh, once the sun dis uh, disappears on us, we will be moving locations. Good on her for doing that. Um, is that a money truck? Holy crap. Never seen a gigantic ass money truck. Is this a movie? Yes, that. You're the star. We've been waiting all day for you. Thank you. Is it really? Yeah, remember oh, the shit. Maybe it was great. So I, I don't know. know. You, guys you too, man.
Pump gas. Yeah. Hey, get the truck number so I can file a complaint. Damn, it made my neck hurt when he ran into me. Apparently, the American flag that they have on the side of their truck doesn't mean anything when the uh, guard decided to shoulder check me. Fucking hurt my neck. You're in public, sir. No, you walked in front of the cameras. I'm at Target. That's fine, I'm allowed to record you at Target. It's a free speech activity. Welcome to America. You should appreciate the Bill of Rights. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I'm in trouble. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Considering the driver assaulted me on camera when he went into the Target, that's why we're filming the truck. A driver? Their driver got out, shoulder checked me, pinned oh. my neck, and you want to give him trouble? Over what? Who? What are you, law enforcement? Or are you pretending to be law enforcement? You're telling me that I'm giving... I just asked him a question. You don't have to walk up on him like that. You don't I get to fucking like do that. Attitude, man. The fuck is your problem? I He's the, they're the fucking assholes. I can't walk. Also, what are, you, what are you talking about? I know I'm in trouble. I can't walk. What are they in trouble for? Mr. I want to be law enforcement? Mr. I got a fake badge, so I'm going to push my authority on people. Bro, learn facts before you try to rip into people over their First Amendment activity or leave America if go you don't home. like our rights. Just go home. What's wrong with you? Go back to the truck. Taking some video? Oh, I can see that. Yeah. For what? Just exercising the rights. That's like, uh, I know I'm in trouble, but I'm going to give you like this official answer. I'm what just you, wondering what, you, what you're doing, man. I'm not trying to be rude. What do you mean, I know I'm, I'm in trouble? Because I'm not in trouble people... for shit. If okay. you're going to say, I know I'm in trouble, go away. Go away. Considering the driver I just don't like your attitude, man. The fuck is your problem? He's the, they're the fucking assholes. What, also, what are, you, what are you talking about? I know I'm in trouble. What are you in trouble for? Mr. I want to be law enforcement? Mr. I got a fake badge, so I'm going to push my authority on people? Bro, 
Learn facts before you try to rip into people over the First Amendment activity or just leave America. Go home, man. Right. Just go home. What's wrong with you? Go back to the church. The wire got out, bought all right here, shoulder thing. Yep, so I'm gonna stand, told, I'm gonna stand camera, right in front of that door. And I got it on the 360 camera and I was like, oh, my neck or But yeah, I'm gonna stand right here and if that motherfucker touches me. Bro. I'm ready. This shit dumb so. Huh? This shit is way taller than me. Oh, that's, oh, that's the one I got. Nice. That's literally the one I got. Mm. It goes like up here. <laughs> like, shit. It's too tall. Perfect. Keep coming this way, period. I'll send you an updated address in about an hour, period. It will be not too far from here. It's really close, period. Yeah. Ghost. Huh? He said he's on his way. Have a good day, buddy. Bye, asshat. All right, pal. He thought he was a cop for a second. You ain't no fucking cop, Shut up, Sizemore. Shut up, Sizemore. Shut up, Sizemore. Shut up. Take your badge, your fake badge, and your ass home. Take yourself and your fake badge home. Bye, Sizemore. Sir, you came up. You came up being rude, so I'm I'm a. Are you trying to make something out of nothing? Go home, Sizemore. You're trying to make something out of nothing. Go, go home, Sizemore. You want my time, my boy? Doesn't matter, Sizemore. You're you're not a. I don't want anything from you. I'm not. I don't trust you, man. I don't want any. I don't trust you. I don't want anything from you. No, I don't trust you, man. No, he's he's just pretending to be nice. Why are you pretending to be nice after being a jackass, man? Go home. Just go home. Again, get get you and your fake badge out of here, man. And don't don't drink and drive. 
stay in school. It's nice that the firefighter believes that we should get assaulted for exercising our rights. Just go then, home, Sizemore. And then gets on you for standing next to the truck with the guy that assaulted yeah, you. Yeah, just go home, Sizemore. Look at ass hat. You and your fake badge don't belong here. And stop pretending you're a cop, you loser. You're not a cop. Get out of here. You're not a cop. Don't pretend. Oh, uh, he's, he's getting out again. What's he going to do? Come on, Sizemore. Just go home. He's a cop again. Uh, he got upset at me for filming his license plate, but you're a public employee. What is going on here today? Damn, he got it all in one hole. <laughs> yeah. I hope your company enjoys the uh, insurance claim he's getting for uh, hurting my neck by running into me on purpose on camera. On 360 camera too, little punk. You don't like the First Amendment? Move to North Korea, you sad American. Don't know your rights, don't respect them, piece of shit. You're gonna file a claim. It hurt my neck. It's nice that this firefighter believes that we should get assaulted for exercising our rights just and then home, and then gets on you for standing next to the truck of the guy that assaulted yeah, you. Just go home, Sizemore. Look at ass hat. You and your fake badge don't belong here. And stop pretending you're a cop, you loser. Fucking loser. Right. You're not a cop. Get out of here. You're not a cop. Don't pretend. He wants to pretend he's a cop again. That's the one right there, guys. Yeah, I didn't know that just because you are a firefighter that you can park in fire lane to run personal errands to target. That's different. So I might be wrong, guys, but somebody correct me if I am wrong. But I am assuming that just because you have a fire car registered, you can't just park in a fire lane to run personal errands to target. Doesn't sound like an emergency situation. I could be wrong. Maybe they do have the right. Somebody let me know. People almost got hit on the crosswalk. Yeah, this one. This one right here? Yeah, so that's what we're here doing a story on today is the crosswalk. It's been featured in the news. It's been on all over social media. Uh, we've done a video about so it before. Had incidents here before? Near misses, near misses every day. So five today of people crossing and a car blows through while they're already three feet from What's getting hit. What's your guys' recommendation? Maybe, uh, speed bumps. Uh, speed bumps only. Maybe Absolutely. Maybe speed bumps and a stop sign. Stop sign, yeah. Yep. So yeah, yeah, people should not come just barreling through and people are walking by and especially the ones with the, like one of the ladies had a baby on it's her all, shoulder. It's all about safety, man. That's Absolutely. what we learned here. We, we exercise safety yeah. for all. Everywhere. I don't Someone needs to talk to this Sun target walks, though. Walks, you know, parking, the vehicles, everything. Yeah. We try the best. Someone needs to talk to this target though and let them know like that's dangerous, so is it, man. Uh, why don't you guys talk to the property managers? We, we've reached it's out. Not Nobody, it's not just yeah. target who's passing by. Nobody, nobody's responded. We've because, reached out know, to the city. We've Got to pitch yep. in a little, you know. We've reached out to the city, reached out to Target. Nobody's responded yet. It's going to take a flood of phone calls, probably, about it in order to get some attention. But mm -hmm. um, the problem is that because they're so aware of the problem, there's been stories on it. It's all over social media. What, what the I first can do, person I can make a report, we'll yeah. a daily report. Absolutely. And I would suggest that that you guys yeah. here doing this and that. Yeah. So here's or the thing, though. Safety. Because everybody's aware of it, including Target and the city, the first incident is going to be a massive multi-million dollar i mean i'm yeah, talking see, tens of millions of dollar payouts yes. you know honestly you're right about that i'm not gonna lie because yeah, they can't go, go to court and be like oh I we didn't go know to work 
And sometimes I miss seeing somebody behind those trees. Yeah, the, the bushes don't help at all. Me, yeah. me, me personally. I'm yeah. saying this and I'm not saying this to yeah. no one. Yeah, yeah. To make it better. Yeah. Because it happened to me, I'm like, oh, shoot. Yep. You know, like, yeah. Absolutely. Must be, yeah, I'm with that. I'm yeah. with the safety, man. And because they're so aware of it, the first person that gets hit, they're going to get tens of millions of dollars on a settlement. They're not even going to have to take it to court because they can't say, oh, I wasn't aware. They're plenty aware. It's been yeah. all over. There's council meetings held about this crosswalk. So yes. somebody just needs to throw a couple speed bumps, something to hurt their car if they go barreling through have at least. Have you guys tried to reach anybody? In, yeah. You know, uh, we, like the management? We put together a short video and reached out to Target, reached out to the city. But this nobody. is not the first time you guys have seen you before. Nope. This is our third time now. Yeah, I've seen you before, yep. but I, I don't know what's going on. We're going to keep coming back until something's fixed. Yeah. yeah, we're going to keep coming back until they fix something. Well, I, I hope so, man, you know. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Sure everybody can make a difference. We Even can... today, we almost watched, we literally, on camera today, I got five people almost get hit by a car right here. Oh, my God. Five people, and one of them was holding a baby, so. It's almost six. And it was funny because, like, one of them, I'm sitting here explaining what we're here to to one lady, and then right behind her, another person almost gets hit. Yeah, you so, sure, yeah. yeah, you know. I'm and sure they'll do something about it. You we'll see. It's, short it's been five years. <laughs> you think it's as short as Maybe this just street a is? People look to fly as fast as they do. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Everything it's been five years. They've known about Everything the problem. For safety, the city will approve. So until un until enough people reach out to Target, we're going to keep coming back every Man, week. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope. Yep safety for all yeah absolutely because the first time it cost somebody a life or really bad injuries everyone's gonna be like so, oh so suddenly everybody's gonna care you, uh, what are you are you the reporter or are you doing this out of your own so we do we exercise our we exercise our first amendment under freedom of speech freedom of press um so we actually do stories like the story here so are you we recording also, right now what's that are you recording yeah 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 How about the freedom of speech and you talk about safety all of that. If you don't mind, what do you think about what's going on the war in Gaza? So that we don't call comment on anything political. We don't. That's not really it's our not wheelhouse. Our business. Yeah, we want to grow yeah. our country. It's not my wheelhouse. Um, I want to work to go out somewhere, man. Yeah. On TikTok. Somewhere yeah. Because my but, wife is there, and I just lost like five members of my family. Yeah. I can't even bring my wife because she's not an American citizen. So here's the funny story on that. So I'm married to somebody who. And I've been in the states for over forty five yeah. years. I'm married to uh, a woman who's been here for, like, I think 12 to 13 years. Yeah. We met 10 years ago, so yeah. we got married. Cool. She To get her sibling out here from the Philippines, it's 21-year wait list. She was already six years into the wait list, and it just got reset. And so now another 21 years. And I'm like, you want yeah, people to come here the exactly right way, the then same. give them a right way to come here. We're exactly the same, but the only difference with us... Even our paperwork is not reviewed after 20 years. We are Palestinians from Palestine, the Holy Land. And you know, and we are Christians and Muslims. We all live together, even good Jews. But the shit is happening, bro. It's fucking everybody up. Yeah. Everybody. It's so sad. I mean, I'm here. Imagine, old guy, you know, and my mm -hmm. wife and my wife over there. I cannot even go there. I came here to get treated. I had Corona. Recent. Yeah. I'm not a security. I own businesses. I have restaurants. Yeah. I have bakeries. Yeah. I can show you on the internet. You'll trip out. But what I, what I, can I do here? I can't even. They can't even transfer me money. Western Union, from there, or money grab, or even money transfer to my bank account to do any business here because it's no money in or out for us. So we could just start. Damn. Luckily, my wife was left with 100 G's, American dollars. Yeah. I left her with $100,000, four restaurants, and a bakery. Now they're closing down, you know? And I'm F up, bro. Yeah. You know, if you see my businesses, million dollar businesses. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, it, just, it sucks. Yeah, there's a lot of stories from people you don't my know. Wife, she was just crying right now, talking to her when I was right there. And she was just like sending me videos. Of memory, rather in my businesses. So this is my businesses. This is what I do. This is, this is my stores. I got shawarma places. Shawarma, you know shawarma. Yeah, I've heard of it. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, this is like the Mexican sell that meat in the street on the yeah. skewer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The only thing we don't eat pork. Okay. So we make it out of beef and chicken. Mm. And that's some fun. I got some videos right here. Of me, I believe. Oh, this is 
This is in the grand, one of the grand opening. I think this is number three. You'll see me right here with my hat and my glasses. Man, it looks popular. Nice. I'm very popular. I don't want to say that. I make a lot of money. I can't bring it in. I have a $5 million house. My house. This is one of my stores. <laughs> you know, it's just crazy how the world... I can go back in five years. After five years. That's crazy. Bro, I don't I want to blow up because I have nobody... This is my one of my grandkids. Look, oh. white boy. Damn. <laughs> More white than you. <laughs> yeah, we, we have tattoo shops in Texas. Sinners tattoos, top of the line in Texas and Raleigh and Dallas. The biggest ever with the top of the line artists. The one like they come from New York all over the United States to tattoo. Go back over there. You probably can look them up, you know. Hey, I'm, you know, center tattoos. Tattoo, so. and they're thinking about expanding here in Hollywood, open a big location very soon. And they also have the tattoo removal centers. They call centers. <laughs> open up a tattoo right next to the removal. <laughs> no, actually, they yeah. have the removal in. Oh, nice, nice. All right. And they yeah. also have a big idea. ass. It's an eight thousand square feet each store, yeah. minimum. And also inside, they have something. They name it pink for mm -hmm. the nails and piercing and everything. It's all pink, nice. So they spend over a million on remodeling only. Yeah. And if you see it, you you probably you'll see me there in the grand opening I was with my daughter. Nice. You know. And yeah, that's what we do, man. You see why I'm hurt? That's why. I'm oh. hurt. That's why I'm old man. I'm fucking yeah. hurt. Yeah. <laughs> that's your wife. For eleven years. So, you, but you can't see her for another five years, maybe. This is my little daughter. My... So is she out there? In... Yes, my wife is over there. She's not American citizen. Oh, so she can't come she over can't here. Can't come because for the last since 2013, I got divorced in 2010 with my five kids' mom. You know, and I went and I lived in Jerusalem. I didn't go to live. I went vacation, <laughs> two-way ticket, bro. I swear to God, in August 2013, and I haven't never been there all my life. I've been in the states, and it was something. Not because I am Palestinian, but I'm more American because all my life here. I don't know anything. I thought it was, I would find camels, I'll find <laughs> Bro, when we used to call a taxi, become a fucking Mercedes Benz S600. Jeez. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you see nothing but Range Rovers, yeah. Escalades, fucking Porsches, Ferrari. I was like, damn, we don't have that in America. Like, Unless you're in an area like you know, this. High, high end area, you know? And anyway, in the two months that I was supposed to come in October, like October 10, I got married October 7, two, two <laughs> months. I found this chick and it was like God sent her. But it, it's the good ones, oh, yeah. the faithful ones, the ones mm. you don't got to worry. I don't got to worry. Oh, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Being there, done it. Now she's number four. Oh, shit. Yeah, she was four. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know? Well, you've been with this one for a while, so. This one, 11 years. The first one, 23 years. You know? It's a few years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is 11. I, I had one for six. I got, a, I got my oldest is 36 years old, man. Old. Damn. Yeah, she was born 1988. How old are you? That's what I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm old, but not too old. I'm 55. All right. Uh, I love pussy so much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I still do, but I fuck that pussy now. I just want to make you happy, make you laugh, because I'm experienced. I'm older than you. <laughs> I've been there. I've done it all, bro. But now I do security because eventually, I don't know how, I have a good record. So I pass the state <laughs> test and all that shit. <laughs> And I'm doing this, and they love me. And they give me overtime. I make good money, actually. Yeah, yeah I was gonna you say know? it's good money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, not good. To I, I don't pay rent or nothing. I live with my brother. He's a lawyer in Baltimore Park, so I don't pay shit. You know, <laughs> I, I try, I try, but we have in our culture, family is always welcome. You don't pay shit, especially when you get a situation. Yeah, you know, and. Uh, that's exactly what happened and but well that's I, how i've been with my kids if, I, there's a lot of people uh, you know that charge their kids rent and shit I, if my I, kids if they gotta move back but i'm, not gonna, bit, I'm then, not gonna lie to you guys you know in this little period of time as i'm working i did buy a restaurant here hmm. and tomorrow wednesday we go on escrow 
Oh, nice. It's in Glendora, you know? All right. And it's going to be called, if you ever just think about something different, it's going to be called Toasty. As a toast with a Y, Toasty. Okay. And we're going to have a whole bunch of delicious stuff like this. Like, what the fuck, bro? Look at me, bro. <laughs> Not to brag. I'm no joke with my food. Hey, I, I don't doubt it. You know? You'll see me in life. You see me on the videos and my other stores. So I'm bringing all that here. It's going to be, you see, and everything is going to be live. And in the front of you, where we're doing all the preparation and the cutting. So there's no bullshit, no hitting stuff, yeah, no BS. Yes. Because We're at the address that I sent. Yeah, it's, it's 1311 Grand Avenue. Right, you know, right. 1311 Grand Avenue in uh, the city of Glendora. Oh yeah, we're on that area all the time. Yeah, so. it's called Toasty. You cannot miss that name, it's, this is the logo. Hey, hey, that's easy to remember too. Yeah, this is, I mean, we're doing the logos right now because we're taking over, we're taking over on the September 1st. Mm, nice. Yeah, because we have to go escrow, make sure they don't owe any money and shit, you know? Yeah. So, okay, it's just uh, a little, it's, uh, we're doing that, like, just the logo, like, shawarma toasty, that's not gonna be called toasty. Nice. So, we're doing, like, this is one of my bags overseas, the way I got my logos overseas, this is shawarma number three, I had four. You know, the way we have the bags, like, this is uh, resigned the uh, skewer. In Arabic, but we're gonna do it in English where it says shawarma. That's nice. what it. That's All right. Pretty cool. So it's gonna be called Tosti. It's gonna be in Glendora. I'm not gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna see food you never thought you have a delicious food like that. All right. Well, it's good yeah. to know. Yeah. So I'm just working right now on, um, working on. The signs, you know, now we're gonna, since tomorrow we sign, see, this is, this is number four. Actually, it says right here my name. They call it Shawarma Nasser. Nice. But this is number four. All right. I really want to show you some good food. I want to get you hungry, bro. <laughs> you have to go buy your lunch. <laughs> I don't mind. You see, I, I don't know if you guys can see. This is the plates, oh, some yeah. kind of the plates. That does oh, look yeah. good. This is our salad. You choose in front of you, you tell me, like Subway style, but authentic. Nice. I'll have you the white sauce, the green sauce, the red sauce. You said the tahini, you have the garlic paste. You have a fries on the sandwich. You have the, the good ass portion. Of, I love to serve, bro. I love to make people <laughs> happy. Look how I like them. Just watch my people yeah, eat and enjoy. Oh, yeah. And I never, One, literally, I younger. never ask any customer how you like the food. I like the customer always appreciate and come back. And that's how you know yeah. you're good. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, especially here everybody get the munchies. They gotta be taking sandwiches but it doesn't bro. You know? Damn that guy just got mad that the truck in front of him stopped for the crosswalk at the girl to walk through. Yeah, see? see yeah. Was, was Everybody's happen? impatient. Nobody wants to actually just chill out, man. Yeah, I'm with you on that, bro. I'll, I'll put it in my report. Bro, when someone honks at me, I do the same thing. I'll go three miles an hour after you honk Where at me. Where are you guys from? Here, this area? Uh, we've moved up to the LA area, yeah. Yeah, we're going to Glendora. Yeah, we're going to Glendora. Does anybody fund you guys? Um, what do you mean, find us? Fund you. Fund? fund. No, no, we're self funded. Oh, yeah. so, all independent. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yep. You know, I know things are hard and everything yeah. costs and expensive, and your time is money because you could be working. Yeah. Be I'm retired, thankfully. Fuck you! Look, you're young, man. <laughs> I mean, I told him, when I said 36. I took somebody younger than my kids. <laughs> yes. Or no. No, I'm a little older. Little. I'm uh, in 40s. Okay. Well, by, by the way, my name is Abraham. Tony Abraham. Mike. Yeah, Tony Abraham. I speak multi languages. Yeah. My first language, my premier language, to be honest, is Spanish. Nice. And I'm not Mexican. <laughs> you know, my premier language is Spanish because I was married with Mexicanas, you know. I was married all my three three wives, they were Latinas. You're fine. You know, they were Latinas, yeah. my three wives. So nice. You know, I learned it and all my businesses here throughout Los, Los Angeles. Yeah. You know. I learned a lot because I owned a lot of businesses in Whittier, South Central, Compton, and Watts for over 40 years here. Nice. And the liquor stores and market, that's what I did. 
until 2012. That's why I left in 2013 when I met my wife. Yeah. Yeah, it was the last one, Ross Grands and Wilmington and Compton. Mm. Stuff area, you know? But I did it for 40 years, bro. Yeah. So I was able to open up and do my things. Yeah. You know, it takes driven people to do yeah. any kind, especially but, restaurants, bro. That's a whole let different. Let me tell you, because I was young and I didn't, I wasn't raised up with my mom and dad since I was a baby. They were there, I were here, just with brothers, mm -hmm. five brothers, and my brothers. I have a doctor, I have a lawyer, you know, I have airplane engineering, and me, I'm a cook. You know, no joke. And I have another one. He got like 15 liquor stores right now. Jeez. But we've been. They're older than me. They're nice. some are almost 72, 73. My brothers. Yeah. And you know, they did it. So in 2012, sold the last store, bro. And that was it because it's too much. It's a headache. It's too much, bro. <laughs> especially over there. Yeah. You know, you every day you are subject to get murdered, bro. Mm -hmm. Even if you're tough and cool and all that, it doesn't matter because you got wackos. First time we went shit. to Compton, we, we pulled up in a Home Depot parking lot, heard gunshots, and then a car flies through with three police cars chasing them. <laughs> Man, if I would tell you, if you would know my life, you would not just stand here, you would fucking be multi-millionaire making real books like that story. The shit I've seen. Well, and it, Gro that's why I, I, so I live all my life in West Covina. West Covina, and I had a West, and West Covina, South Hills, beautiful house. It was a million dollar till 2010. Now they had an ADU on it. I would not try to rebuy it, just negotiate with the Oriental who bought it. And it's almost two million dollars, bro. It's inflation for you. I swear I bought it in 2001 for 275. Sheesh. 275, 11,120 square feet. Nice. Yeah, people are I remember nice. because that was my what first house. What are you guys house. doing? Just taking some video? Of what? What are you for? for? Taking video of everything that happens today, just exercising our rights to record. The, the crosswalk, mostly. Oh, yeah. oh, the yeah. crosswalk because it's crosswalk being unsafe the for the cars. They keep jamming without stopping, and we're afraid that they smash someone. Yeah. Oh. So it's for public safety, mostly. And you're all dressed up. Aren't you hot? I got to match your hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, what people don't realize is a lot of what we do is First Amendment exercise and our rights, That's and good. there's so many people that don't appreciate the beautiful rights that we have in this country they don't realize you go to other countries you don't have the same protections we got to i love it it's free country know. man yeah. I, I can't do what i did with you like this man i'll be in prison <laughs> sure, right? I would've, or i would have got shot <laughs> i would have got shot that's where yeah no shit you'll do 10 years for lifting a flag yeah it's crazy uh, that's, that's what i grew up here i, so I live the american way man mm -hmm. i live the american way my kids they live, live the american way we all yeah. So when you went, when you went to go visit your family out there, uh, when you were able to, when you went out there, is it difficult, or was it difficult for you to kind of accustom yourself to the rules and the things you can't do? Man, I was dying there, man. I smoke weed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was dying to find a fucking joint. And then when I did, it was like they sell you a nuclear weapon. <laughs> you go, you go an extra to buy a nuclear weapon. You know, like a fucking cup of joints, bro. Damn. I, I'm telling you, I had to drive, baby. I swear not to exaggerate, 100 miles. Jesus. And it was one right there, one right there. Make sure. What the fuck, you know? They say, if here the thing is over there, it's a reputation because yeah. it's small. Yeah. Everybody knows each other. The reputation. And if your reputation is F up, nobody will give you credit. Nobody, you know, you look bad, you gotta leave the country. So, to me, I didn't know all of that. And it was crazy, bro. It was like hell. It made me be sober for almost 11 years. I got sober. <laughs> no, I, I'm not gonna take a chance. Yeah, if they catch you with a... One day, I swear I was going from my restaurant because I'm American, I put American music, I put rap, I put all that shit, whatever. You know, I put everything that I like, you know? Even rock, I got pulled over like two in the morning. They watching me, you know, in one of my restaurants, they stopped in the front of me, four came out with guns, like, what the fuck? Jesus. I was like, damn, what's going on, man? You know, you know, you're American, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, what's up? You know, get out of the car, blah, blah, blah. You're, uh, I don't know why they took me. At the end, they were very cool, you know, it was like, they wanted not like, 
where you get all this money from? So what money? So they said, you got a house. I was like, fuck, I built that in 1992. <laughs> That's exactly when I started building it, when my dad was alive, which is a wish, which is the best thing I did because I lost everything here after my divorce. My yeah. house backed me up. Yeah. Isn't that crazy how women can wipe out everything you've well, ever worked for? After 23 years, after 23 years, my wife, after divorce, and I give her the best life you'll ever imagine, bro. Okay? After 23 years, she put my kids against me for like seven years. Telling them that, oh, something not true. Until now, my kids are so, so very close to me, you know? You know, it's like it turned and I, I found out why is because I got married and she's waiting. She want me back, bro. It's not gonna happen. What's going on here? Just doing some public filming. What's going on with you? Careful of that crosswalk. That car just barreled through. <laughs> Are we getting cam back from the free or from the Tesla? So they did what they're supposed to do. barreling through I like the artwork, man. What's up? I like the artwork. Oh, thanks. What's your favorite piece? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like this tiger. That's sick. What's the one on the, who's the picture of on the arm? Uh, it's Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Yeah, All right. He's touched sick. up a little bit. It's That's kinda, sick, though. Yeah. You have a beautiful day, sir. You're glad you're lucky you stopped, he didn't.